We're talking about the Albert King arrangement of Killing Floor, so we're going to look at some of the licks played on that. So, um, and a little bit about the uh, turnaround chord progression, and I think I'm going to start there. A va very famous way to play the last two bars of a blues, and this one is in A, is uh, we're, I'm going to play the two melodies that occur simultaneously and then show you how to uh, make those melodies with a couple of chords. So come in to the close to the left hand. Okay, so uh, the chord progression usually goes like this. A, A7, and then D. You could make it this way, or you could do this. And then an F augmented sixth, which most people call an F7 chord. Looks like an F7, to an A chord. I'll do that again, A, A7. D, and then F7, F augmented 6, A. One more time. And then goes to the E7. So let me go through each one of these chords. This is your E-shaped bar, bar chord, A. And then we're just going to take the fourth finger off and put it on the, on the B string to create your A7. And then... Perhaps use a double bar there, maybe, to play the D chord, or you could use second, third, and fourth fingers if you like. And then a nice uh, uh, F7 chord there, it's like a C7 shape. Come back here, there's C7, make your C chord like that. So one, first finger at the sixth fret of the B, second, fret at the seven, uh, second finger at the seventh fret of the D, third finger at the eighth fret of the A, and your fourth finger here. And then you just swap these two, your second and third, second and third fingers. Sorry, sorry, second and fourth, and go down one fret to play that A chord, and then swap them back for the E7. The melodies you hear here are the top melody here. Very typical melody over the last uh, on the eleventh bar of the blues, and then. We've got this other one, which is going up. You can play them together. Okay, so that we have in the 11th to 12th bar of uh, Killing Floor. And then let me just show you the guitar licks from the other bits of the tune. We've got a little diminished chord shape. It's a, D, a C sharp diminished chord, which makes up the rest of it. A7, but you just play the C sharp diminished, and then B minor, and then A major, and you have B minor, A major. Then we move that whole progression up to the D chord for bars five and six, and we're going to play this F sharp diminished chord way up here. To an E minor, to a D, and then we come back, and then you hear a little E7, and this I've just taken the double bar and added my fourth finger on the high E string, and then we have our turnaround. So playing the tune all together, two, ready, go, two, ready, go, two, ready, go, two, ready, go. Two, ready, go.